prevention of, of illnesses. And first I will discuss um, the clinical studies on respiratory infections. In Finland, we run a study in 18 uh, daycare centers, having 571 children of age one to six years. The children got either normal milk or milk which was enriched with LGG bacteria. And it was totally double-blinded study, so no one knew what the children uh, got, what kind of milk they got. And here are the results. The gray one tells the figures in those children that had drunk uh, LGG milk, and the green one is children that had drunk normal milk. You can see that children who had been receiving LGG had less otitis media, ear infections. They has had less infections altogether and they needed less antibiotics than those children that had been drinking normal milk. And other um, daycare sh uh, study was done in, in Slovenia. And again, you can see that those children that got fermented milk with LGG had less respiratory infections and they also had less gastrointestinal infections. So certainly we can conclude that at least in children, uh, HHG seems to decrease the risk of respiratory infections. There is also one study in, done in infant, infants, they got infant formula. The occurrence of acute otitis was decreased, need of antibiotics was decreased, and also the risk of respiratory infections was lower during the first year of, of their life. Um, if we then look at prevention of, of diarrhea, age was from one month to three years, that children who had received LGG had less diarrhea the prevalence of rotavirus infection was lower, and especially the symptoms of rotavirus, inf rotavirus infection was lower in those children that received LTG. Um, here are all the well-designed trials on uh, treatment of diarrhea. Um, plus means that the duration of diarrhea was increased, and minus means that the duration of of diarrhea was decreased. And as you can see, most of the studies showed that the duration of, of acute diarrhea in children was decreased when they were receiving probiotics. The red ones are studies with LGG. And you can see that all the studies with LGG show that the duration of acute diarrhea was decreased in children both in diarrhea that was caused by rotavirus, we can see a decrease, and also in, in diarrheas that were caused by something else than rotavirus, we can see that the symptoms were decreased by LTG. To rotavirus and other acute diarrhea in children, LTG has been effective in adults especially in antibiotic-associated diarrhea and in travelers' uh, diarrhea. And nowadays there is a consensus that LGG reduces the risk of diarrhea and it reduces the duration of diarrhea, both in children and in adults. Um, then we come to IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Therefore, also we wanted to study the role of LGG in IBS. This time we chose a combination. There was LGG probiotic together with another um, lactobacillus rhamnosus strain, one propionic acid strain, and one bifidobacteria 
a strain. And the intervention lasted for um, six months. And you can clearly see the result. Um, here are the subjects that had been given HHG. Their symptoms certainly decreased during the follow-up period. You can see that both pain, flatulence, and rumbling decreased significantly more in the probiotic group than in the placebo group. Then we did another study with um, 86 patients. And here you can see results of this study. Probiotics the, is the black spots. And you can see that, yes, the total score of symptoms decreased much more in the probiotic group than in the placebo group. Usually also in the placebo group you see some decrease in IBS patients, but the difference was statistically significant. You can see that abdominal pain and bloating were mostly decreased, much, much more decreased in the probiotic group. And if we look at the health-related quality of life questionnaire, we can see that there was a significant difference between the groups. In the probiotic group, the, the quality of life was much better, especially if we consider bowel symptoms, fatigue, activity limitations, emotional function. And as there, in fact, is not any good medication for IBS, this is considered very important finding. Another interesting um, area, research area, is the colon detoxification. HG has been able to bind mycotoxins uh, in in vitro studies and in animal studies. It also seems to lower activity of carcinogen activating enzymes and decrease the secretion of toxic compounds in uh, clinical trials. Uh, there are some indications that it might even reduce the growth of tumors in experimental models, but I think it's too early still to, to draw any strong conclusions on that subject. But anyway, it's a very interesting area to, to research. Um, here are the results of the aflatoxin binding um, study. Science, scientific literature, you should look what strains they are talking about. Thank you.